Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, it's Steve. If you use OBS with an M1 Mac like I do, probably come across the same challenge with separating your audio, like your desktop audio, getting it into OBS. Right now, I believe we all probably use the same system using multi-output device with Black Hole 2 channel. I know that's what I've been using and it works fine, but a few days ago, I found on the internet, <laughs> obviously, this cool new software that blows it away. And this isn't gonna be a tutorial. I just wanna show you what it is, link you to the website. It's um, a free trial for 14 days uh, and it works for M1 Max. So I just want you to be able to play around with it on your own while I'm playing around with it. And then maybe in a couple of days or next week, I'll do a tutorial. But since it's free, you could download it and test it on your own. So I'll pull that up right now. Okay, so if you could see right here, the website is gingeraudio.com and the name of the software is actually Caster. So you just come to Ginger Audio and then you could download it right here. Um, I don't know what room is right now. Like I said, this is just for the Caster app and this is what it looks like, I'll pull it up. So right now you could, um, you can make the interface as big or as small as you want, but I have, basic settings right now because I've been testing it. I've only been testing it with Safari. So it's pretty cool because it's not just routing your desktop audio. It'll route any app that you have, which is the awesome part. And like I said, this isn't a tutorial. I just want to show you some things. If you see down here, I have many apps open. I have Firefox, Word, my Outlook, Safari, Chrome, and OBS. And right here you can see Currently, I'm only routing my Safari audio, but all you have to do is click on this add button and every one of your open apps should show up. So for example, when I start doing uh, some reaction videos for my other channel, I'm gonna be using Firefox. So I would just open Firefox, boom, it populates it right there. Then you would just click on this button here and direct it to, and then it'll just do a little you know, and bang, now it's gonna direct to Caster Firefox. And again, it's not a tutorial. When you go into sources, you'll add an audio source and that audio source name will be Caster Firefox. They'll all show up, it's super simple. Um, I've only had it for a couple of days. I tested a little bit last night and it works perfectly. It's way easier than the um, Black Hole 2 channel. It's just a simple app. You just add as many of the apps that you want to pull audio from and then set it up as an audio source in your OBS. And it's, it's really super simple. So again, if you go to gingeraudio.com, download the 14-day free trial, you could all test this out on your own. And then in a couple of days or next week, once I get the hang of it more, I'll probably do a quick tutorial and I don't even think that tutorial will need to be that long because this software is super easy. You could link your monitors here, like your headphones. You just select where you want them to be. This is just your entire caster stream mix. So say I was pulling audio from Safari and Firefox. I can move those over as single audio um, sources. But if I wanted, for whatever reason, I could also use caster stream mix to pull the entire mix into OBS. That's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to introduce you to the website, um, gingeraudio.com. They're not paying me. This isn't um, promotional or anything. It's just something that I found that is making my life so much easier and it will as I continue to use OBS to stream and record. And I figured I'd share that with you. So just go to gingeraudio.com, download Caster. You get two weeks to try it for free. And then after that, the good thing is it's not a monthly subscription. I think it's $49.99 one-time payment. And I'm definitely going to buy it because it's so convenient. If you have any um, specific questions, leave them down below. That'll, that'll help me put out a new video. Like if there's anything that you guys like really want to know about the software, I could look into it and check it out. Um, and if not, then I'll just be doing a normal um, review and, uh, you know, tutorial video. So ah, there we go. Cast their lifesaver. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.